Well, hello everyone. This is Peter Brown with a look at your weather for the upcoming period. And look at here, we're starting out, we're getting into the, you know, the very end of April soon here. We're going to start out our period, look at this, actually fairly cool. We're going to actually see temperatures only in the uh, lower 50s, maybe not even getting out of the 40s starting out tomorrow on Friday. So that's going to definitely going to be something that you're really going to feel after some of the nice weather we had last weekend. If you remember on Easter Sunday, we saw temperatures in the mid to upper 80s here in the Burlington area. But unfortunately, we're going to be far from that these upcoming seven days. And as you can see, as we head in towards the tail end of April, can you believe it? Where's the time really gone, folks? Spring is really moving along quickly. By the time we get to the end of April, the end of our period, our average temperature should be in the lower 60s. And we're going to see maybe we might have a little bit of warmer weather coming up by the time we get to the end of the period. But of course, the best thing of all, the days are so long now. We have plenty of daylight to get out there and enjoy the great spring weather. Now, as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going to be going on with the weather for the next seven days. And there's really not too much interesting, so to say, going on. We don't really see any large storms coming up here to affect us here in the Burlington area. We are going to have a very weak system, as you can see over here, um, moving by us on Friday. This is what's going to bring us some showers, chance of maybe a quarter to half an inch of rain. That's going to move by us and move up into the Canadian Maritimes. Now that's going to couple with this high pressure center that's going to be kind of building in from eastern Canada. That's going to keep winds actually coming in from the northeast and the east here in our area. So that's going to keep temperatures actually on the cool side for the next, I want to say, going out four to five days or so. So if you're at the coastline in Boston, you're really going to struggle to get out of the 40s. Out here in the Burlington area, we're going to see again maybe some spotty drizzle going all the way into early Sunday, but temperatures only getting into the low 50s. But as you see right here, as we get into the end of the period, we're going to see another nice high pressure fair weather center coming in here. And that's going to bring some sunnier skies our way and bring the chance of those warmer temperatures as we head towards the end of the period. Now, as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about this graphic that's going to be bringing in. This is actually a telltale sign of spring. And right here, this is basically describing what happens during the sea breeze effect. And of course, a lot of people go to the coast at this time of the year into Boston thinking the weather's going to be absolutely beautiful in April. It can actually be very, very cold compared to Burlington if you're going into Boston, that's for sure. And what happens is, in the springtime, we have some very warm conditions that develop. As you know, in April, temperatures are getting up into the 60s, getting a lot warmer. This warms the ground, but what happens is the ocean is still very, very cold. Temperatures in the ocean just off of the coast here are only in the low 40s. So what happens is, as this warm air um, starts to lift and kind of because warm air is much lighter than cold air this warm air starts to go up into the sky and creates kind of a vacuum underneath and that draws in the cold air down at the surface from the ocean and that's why really from interstate 495 east to the coast we can get a significant sea breeze early in the spring that's for sure but of course as we get towards the night down here on the bottom the process actually reverses interestingly enough the land cools off quicker than the water so the water is actually a little bit warmer and we see the wind stains into a land breeze again. So that's basically what happens a lot of the times in the spring and just kind of giving you a detail of why we can get so chilly here when we get into April and even the start of May in the afternoons. But as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about the weather that's going to be coming up for the next couple of days here. And as you can see, Friday and Saturday, yeah, they look a little bit like they might be on the dreary side a little bit here in the Burlington area and the rest of southern New England. Now Friday, this high of 52 is a little bit optimistic. I actually don't think we're going to see temperatures get really out of the upper 40s as we get into tomorrow. So that's going to be something eh, not so nice if you have to be out and have to get some errands done. Now on Sunday, we see temperatures um, rebound just a little bit and really still very cool with that northeast and easterly wind. And we're going to see again the chance of some drizzle and maybe cloudier skies. And we're really not going to see these peaks of sun until maybe late in the afternoon. Now that type of pattern looks like it's going to continue as we get all the way out into Wednesday. We're going to continue to see that cool northeasterly and easterly flow coming into the Burlington area. So temperatures are really going to stay about average in the mid-50s, but look at this. We're still going to get some kind of chilly mornings, temperatures down into the mid and upper 30s. So there is going to be a chill. You're going to need a jacket going out there early in the morning. But look at this. As we get into Wednesday and especially Thursday, we're going to see that high pressure moving into the Burlington area out from the Midwest, and that's going to bring a chance of much warmer temperatures. So I'm being optimistic here. I'm going to try and look on the real sunny side of things for Thursday, but I think we may actually see some temperatures back up in the mid-70s again. So folks, I hope you get out there and enjoy this great weather that we're having. A little bit cool, 
But I've got to tell you, summer is on its way, and have a great week.